Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So, I finally put together the update to the tentative banner guide and I've updated it to cover from August to the end of December with tentative dates for a few banners in January and February. So, let's just quickly go over this in, and the link to download this image will be in this video description if you wish to save a copy. So, let's begin. On August 8th, which is a week and a half from now, we will get the Sigma and Lambda banner. And I'm going to say right now, I personally will not be drawing on this banner, so I won't have any Trinity Crystals really saved up to draw on this banner. So I'll wait for Sigma and Lambda to pick them up later. Because frankly, they are Langrisser characters, which means they do get added to the general pool and you can get them in focus banners in the future. It's only the collaboration banner characters who you cannot get. In addition to that, you will also be getting the exclusive items for Juggler and Lifany. Juggler gets a hat, Lifany gets an accessory at that time. After that, you know, there's two a focus banner followed by a regular banner. And then on in September, because every month they seem to do a serious uh, banner, so in September, two more Langrisser characters are released. And they are Gizaroff and Wilder. In addition to that, you can also get the SR Serena at that time. And in terms of exclusive equipment, Rachel gets her armor and Emmerich gets her hat then. You follow that down in September with another focus banner, Landius, Ledin, and Elwyn. And then there's also a Lambda, Liana, and Rachel uh, focus banner. So that's one reason why I don't plan to draw on the August uh, banner. Because Lambda appears in a focus banner very soon after that. And after the Lambda, Liana, Rachel banner, there will be another collaboration banner. And this collaboration banner is for Sakura Wars, where you can get Shinguji Sakura, Tanzaki Sumeri, and Iris Chateaubriand. At that same time, two exclusive items are released. Cherie's Armor and Heinz Hat. So, moving on, after that, in October... Continuing in October, you there will be... Uh, Bernhardt Leon Elwin banner and a Sakura Wars equipment banner. And this banner is pretty useful, right? For example, there's the Spirit Sword Arataka, where when attacking, you have a 100% chance to remove one debuff from the enemy and inflict one debuff. And this actually works with AoE attacks too. It is a sword though, so that does limit the number of characters who can equip it, but the characters who would really like it would probably be Leonhard and potentially Bernhard if they're willing to reduce their AoE range from you know two radius down to back to their original one. Other than that, the other items are so-so I think, right? The armor has an effect when attacked before battle deals fixed damage to the enemy and it deals 1.5 times the hero's magic defense. So that's I'm really not sure who would use that armor. And then there's also a helmet, Red Ribbon. After taking action, if the unit's hit points is lower than 50%, you recover 20% hit points. That's actually quite a good helmet. Um, you know, just the fact that you can recover hit points if your soldiers are below 50%, that's a pretty big thing. And then finally, there's also an accessory, the Teddy Bear, where when using single target support skills, such as Regenerate, the duration is increased by one. So, also quite a useful accessory, right? There's a lot of single target support skills that are in this game, you know? Uh, strengthen, Gospel, Regenerate. You know, it makes them much more usable if they last, you know, three turns as opposed to two. So that you can permanently refresh them and keep them permanently active, as opposed to right now where it can sometimes be a struggle. Continuing on. In October, there was actually a repeat 
of a banner, which is the Zerda Juggler banner. And then at the very end of October, and slash the start of November really, we get Illustrial and Claret. So also quite a nice banner if I have to say, you know. Uh, from what I know, uh, Claret in particular is amazing. Illustrial, not so much, but you know. She is a pretty dark elf. <laughs> and at that time, there should also be exclusive items, which is the November items, which is the Kirikaze hat and Shafaniel's hat. There's an interesting banner at the start of November. Um, I believe it's supposed to be a focus banner, but it's a focus banner that seems to have an SR on it because it's Luna, Shuri, and Narm. At least that's what shows in the image. So take that as you will. I'm not quite sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure on this banner. I'm going to be honest. But that was what the image showed, and that's what I wrote down. And then we finally get Wilder on a focus banner. So they first appeared in September, but it's not until November, mid-November, that they start appearing in focus banners. So you can see there's Listel, Lanford, and Wilder here. And after that, in, at the end of November, two new characters released again, Yulia and Omega, with the exclusive items, the Lanford hat and the Freya hat. Finally, in December, we get another focus banner with Sigma, Lambda, and Gizaroth. So this one could be interesting because there's only Lambda on a focus banner beforehand, right? So here, if you're drawing purely on focus banners, you won't have Sigma and you won't have Gizaroth. So you'll get one of these two randomly. Yeah. Depends on whether... So that makes it possible that you might have to consider drawing on, let's say, the Gizaroth better. The Gizaroth Wilder one? Just to get one of them. I'm not quite sure. Or you can, you know, of course, get one of them here, wait, maybe in the future there will be another banner where, once again, you can choose between, six, you know, you can get the other character. You know, if you if you manage to get Sigma here, maybe you can get Gizaroth in the future or vice versa. So, in any case, at the end of December, there should be a Lana, Liana, and Zerida banner. And then after that, this is my estimate, so I'm not 100% sure if this is the correct date, but in 2020, uh, there should be the fourth collaboration banner, which is for Yu Yu Yakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho? Sorry. <laughs> ah. Anyways, uh, and that will be the first one where you can get Yusuke, Kurama, and an SR, Kanzama Kuwabara. There should also be exclusive items around this time. I'm not sure what they are. And then because there's one collaboration banner for January, the following month, in February, there should be the other collaboration banner for Yu Yu Hakusho characters. And you can see that there will be two SRs there in that one. So finally, after that, there are rumors that there will be a future collaboration with the record of Lodas War, but this is just rumors. There's no confirmation yet, you know. China has not gotten it yet. So, until it's, you know, officially released in China, we can't say whether the Record of Lodos War collaboration banners will actually happen. But, it is rumored. So there we go. All the banners, as far as I'm aware, from August all the way to the end of December, with some estimated dates for the collaboration banners 4 and 5. So, I hope... I'll probably update this, you know, later on in the future when there's more confirmation about the banners for 2020. But I don't think I'm going to be doing an update anytime soon. Probably in like a few months from now. So, that's it for this, uh, I guess, the all the banners that are coming up for the rest of the year. 
I hope you find this information useful in figuring out how you would draw for characters. And on that note, Nitro out.